this subject digital electronics is a common subject for electronics and communication instrumentation engineering branch electrical electronics engineering branch computer science and information technology branch in the gate exam and of course it is a common subject in ies exam for ec branch and also for triple e branch the major syllabus of this subject is common for all these branches the main topics of this subject will be looking as boolean algebra number system simplification simplification of boolean expressions and boolean functions combinational circuits and sequential circuits these topics are the common topics for ec branch instrumentation triple e as well as for computer science branch a part of these topics for ec and instrumentation the other topics what we are having is analog to digital converters digital to analog converters logic families whereas for triple e branch a to d converters and d to a converters these are the additional topics in the gate exam for ec instrumentation and triple e branch and these are the common topics for ECE as well as for triple E in the IES exam. And if we look to few more details about the syllabus, in the Boolean algebra, we are we are basically starting with the Boolean algebra. We are going to look here what are the basic operators, derived operators in the Boolean algebra to relate the Boolean variables, etc. And in the number system, basically we are concentrating on the binary number system. the binary number system we are going to look in general what is r minus 1's complement r's complement in general a part of the binary number system for any radix also we are working what is r minus 1's complement and r's complement and in the case of the simplification of the boolean expressions and boolean functions we are going to simplify the boolean equations and boolean functions using boolean algebra properties and also using carnot maps and if you come to the combinational circuits in the combinational circuits we are having the various topics as arithmetic circuits in the arithmetic circuits We are going to start with the off adder, full adder, binary adder, binary subtractor, BCD adder, BCD subtractor, etc. And we are looking to the next topic in the combination of circuits as code converters. the latter topic we are going to look the ic blocks multiplexers decoders demultiplexers encoders and related circuits 
and if you come to the next topic of the subject sequential circuits we'll be starting with the flip flops and flip flop conversions the next topic we are going to look the resistors the next topic will be ripple counters ripple counters synchronous counters these are the main topics what we will be looking in the sequential circuits as i said these are the common topics in ece instrumentation triple e and cs branch and coming to this adc ac converters for all these uh, circuit branches the topics what we are looking various analog to digital converter circuits and also various digital to analog converter circuits and we are going to work for few numericals and the logic family topic we are going to deal as per the syllabus dtl dual transistor logic circuits ttl ecl mos and cmos circuits these topics we are going to deal and if you look to the weightage of this subject the gate examination point of view at all we are looking the weightage of this subject in the ec branch will be generally vary between 7 to 9 marks and in the instrumentation branch it will go generally between 5 to 7 marks and triple e branch it will be 4 to 7 marks and in the computer science generally it will be between 5 to 8 marks so th this is a general weightage what we are going to look in this uh, for this subject in the gate exam the subject we need to start with this boolean algebra and the syllabus coverage mostly will be following this order to cover the syllabus so as i said we need to start the subject with this topic boolean algebra if you look to the difference between the boolean algebra and the conventional algebra what you learned in the schooling the difference will be looking based on the number system the conventional algebra is based on the number system which is having the radix that the base as 10 whereas the boolean algebra is having the radix that the base is 2 so that the conventional algebra is based on the decimal number system whereas the boolean algebra is based on the binary number system as we know in this conventional algebra we are dealing with the equations and expressions in these equations and expressions we are basically relating the variables by using few operators as similar to the conventional algebra even in this boolean algebra also we are dealing with the equations and expressions in these equations and expressions we are relating here also the variables by using few operators here also the variables the variables of course because of the binary number system we are naming as the binary variables or boolean variables these binary variables are boolean variables here also we are representing as similar to the conventional algebra may be using this upper case letters or may be using this lower case letters and to relate these variables we are having the operators as or operator and operator and not operator out of these three basic operators 
द फर्स्ट टू ऑपरेटर्स आर बाइनरी ऑपरेटर्स वेर एस दिस नॉट इज यूनेरी ऑपरेटर If you see the difference between the binary operator and unary operator, the binary operator will associate always with a minimum two operands, whereas unary operator is associate with only one operand. So that we need to start the subject with these operators. This R operator symbolically we are representing. Is using any one of this symbol. Suppose A and B are the Boolean variables. The R operation between these two operands we can write by using any one of this symbol. As a binary operator, in general, it may be on any number of operands. Whenever the operator is a binary operator we prefer to look to the result of the binary operator on two variables and on three variables while looking to the result of the binary operator on two variables and on three variables it is possible in general to look what is the result of the operator on any number of variables so to look to the result we will be listing here all possible values on two binary variables and also we are listing here all possible values on three binary variables so if we list possible values on these two boolean variables or binary variables these are the possible combinations on these two binary variables similarly if we look to the possible values on these three binary variables these are the possible values on these three boolean variables or binary variables while having or operation between these two operands the result will be looking as for first combination it is zero for the remaining combinations we are looking to the result as one similarly on these three boolean variables the possible values if at all we are looking to the result except for the first row for the remaining rows we are reading the result is 1 whereas for the first row we are looking to the result as 0 the result we prefer to read with one one of the boolean variable let us name the boolean variable as y so that while looking to these results it is possible to define this r operation as the result of r operation is zero the result of r operation is zero if and only if uh, if and only all boolean variables are with a value of zero or equivalently we can talk the result of r operation is one whenever at least one of the variable is one to perform all these logical operations we are having hardware devices these hardware devices we are naming as logic gates these logic gates are basically implemented by using few basic electronic devices such as pn junction diodes bjts mosfets etc but it is possible to learn this subject this digital electronic subject it is possible to learn without knowing inner details about the logic gates i mean without bothering to the inner circuitry part of the logic gates it is possible to learn this subject the device which is performing this or operation this device we are naming as or gate symbolically we are representing this or gate with this symbol it may be having say a number of inputs 
the gate if at all it is having n number of inputs then we are naming the fan in of the logic gate is equal to n so that the word fan in is basically referring to the number of inputs to a logic gate say for example but all we are having a r gate Be the fan in is basically talking about the number of inputs to a logic gate if at all r gate is having three inputs then the fan in of that particular r gate we are naming as 3 are equivalently talking the fan in of a r gate is say 5 default means it is giving the meaning as that particular r gate is having five inputs it is a means of the word fan in if we look to the next operator we will state the next operator as the next operator we named as and operator this and operator symbolically we are representing by using any one of this symbol while taking a and b as a boolean variables the and operation between these two operands we can write by using any one of this symbol let us name the result as y in general is a binary operator binary operator it may be on any number of operands generally while writing and operation among these operands we may not be writing even this dot even without this dot also default means we are taking as among these operands there is a and operation if you look to the result of this and operation on two variables we are looking to the result except to the last row for the remaining rows the result is 0 whereas for the last row it is 1 similarly if we work for the result on three boolean variables we are looking to the last row result as 1 and for the remaining rows the result is 0 so based on this result it is possible to speak verbally about this and operation as the result of and operation is 0 whenever at least one of the variable is zero or equivalently we can talk the result of and operation is one if and only all the variables are one to perform this and operation the logic device is and gate symbolically we are representing this and gate with this symbol we are looking here in these tables for example this is a table we developed on two boolean variables and while listing the possible combinations we are looking there are four possible combinations hence we are looking to the four rows in this table similarly it is a table we developed on three boolean variables while listing all possible combinations we are looking there are eight combinations so that the table we are looking eight rows we are looking in these tables the possible values of the boolean variables along with the result such table or tables we are naming as truth table so that the truth table is the one which is consisting of all possible combinations of the boolean variables along with the result and generally whenever we are developing the truth table say for example n boolean variables we prefer to list the binary combinations in such a way that they must be in the decimal increasing order even if at all we are looking here on these three boolean variables if we look to the equivalent decimal number for each one of these binary combination we are looking as 0 to 7 so in general if at all we are talking whenever we are developing a truth table on n boolean variables we prefer to list the binary combinations in the decimal increasing order the next operator we are looking 
as not operator as I mentioned it is a unary operator symbolically this not operator we are writing by using any one of this symbol while taking a as a boolean variable the not operation on this operand we can write by using any one of this symbol as like this because of only one boolean variable we are looking there are two possible values on the boolean variable and we are reading here y is not equal to a whenever the binary variable a is the value of 0 not equal to 0 stands in the boolean algebra or in the binary number system it is 1 not equal to 1 it is second case so that it is giving the value as 0. To perform this not operation the logic device we are having as not gate it is a symbolic representation for not gate it is also named as inverter why we are naming this device not gate as an inverter with a well meaning we can understand by looking to this truth table basically we are looking this device is interchanging the boolean constant value if it input is 1 output is 0 if input is 0 output is 1 so basically the values of the 0 and 1 are interchanged between the input and output is the reason to name the device as inverter while dealing any mathematical subjects few the standard relations what we need to use very frequently such relations we used to name as properties as similar to any other mathematical subject here also on these operators we are having possibility to list few properties these properties here we are naming as boolean algebra properties so we are listing these relations on these operators under the heading of boolean algebra properties If A is having our operation itself any number of times, it is A. If A is having and operation itself any number of times, it is A. If A is having our operation with a Boolean constant 0, it is A. If A is having and operation with a Boolean constant 1, it is A. If A is having or operation with a boolean constant 1 it is 1 if a is having and operation with a boolean constant 0 it is 0 if a is having and operation with its complement it is 0 if a is having or operation with its complement it is 1 in fact what is the list we made here all these are covered already while giving the truth table on two binary variables with R operation as well as with AND operation. We can look here the second property and third property what we name what we listed these are basically you can see from this list here we are looking at all one of the variable is 0. So, one of the variable is 0 suppose if you take A is 0 for this OR operation we can look what is the result. And similarly for this AND operation whenever we are having a result if you look to the first property A or A any number of times it is A. So, while looking to this two variable to the table you can see while looking to the first row and last row. The first row a we are having the value as 0. So, 0 or with 0 any number of times it is 0. For the last row A is with the value of 1. So, 1 or with 1 any number of times we can look as 1. So, what is the value of A we are having that we are looking as a value as a result. And similarly if we look to the 
our operation for this case. So, here what is the list we made here in this list we are looking all these relations as pairs. And if you look there is a specific relation within the pair. In this equation here we are having this R operation while coming to B it is changed to and operation. Similarly, in this equation here we are having and operation while coming to B it is changed to R operation. So, basically we are looking there is interchanging of this R and operators and also we are looking this is the interchanging of the Boolean constant 0 and 1. There is interchanging of the Boolean constant 0 and 1. Any pair of equation or expression is following this relation such pair we are naming as dual pair and this property we are naming as principle of duality. This property we are naming as principle of duality it is one of the important property generally we will be looking to the questions using this property. So, in the principle of duality what we are looking is there is an interchanging of the boolean constant 0 and 1 there is an interchanging of or and and operation. So, in the principle of duality basically what we are looking is there is an interchanging of or and and operator and there is an interchanging of boolean constant 0 and 1 can list the next property the boolean variable if at all it is having complement twice it is the variable a we can prove this easily suppose if at all a is 0 while taking one comp one complement it is 1 while taking one more complement it becomes 0 we started with 0 we are reaching to 0 if at all we are starting with 1 we will be reaching to 1 the next property we can list as A or with B C is equal to A or B and with A or with C. The name of this property is distributivity. What are the properties we listed till now until to this 4? we are having the proof for all these properties while looking to these truth tables. We can verify easily what all we are having say for example, a two input R gate. The first four properties we want to see the proof we can look easily the proofs from this truth table the usage of the truth table. Suppose, if at all we want to look the proof of this relation or this property, we are looking A or 1. Suppose, B if at all we are talking as a 1, so if at all we are having a B is 1, we are looking A may be 0 or A may be 1, we are having a result is 1. So, that while having one of the variable is 1, we can talk the other variable may be of anything the result is 1. Similarly, we want to see the proof for this relation, but all we are looking to the b is 0 for example, here to map with the truth table. So, b is 0 we are looking b is 0 we are looking for this first row and this third row. So, we are looking here A may be of any value the result is 0. Like this it is possible to verify the results what we mentioned here in this list with the help of these truth tables. In general if at all we want to see the proof of any such Boolean equation. The proof of such Boolean equation is possible with the two procedures. One procedure is very similar procedure of the conventional algebra. In the conventional algebra, 
we may be looking to the proof of the equation, we may be starting with LHS expression while doing some mathematical manipulation we will try to read the result is to be RHS or sometimes we will be starting with RHS while doing some mathematical manipulation we will try to read the result is to be LHS. So, the similar procedure we can use even in this Boolean algebra also to see the proof of any Boolean equation. A part of this procedure we are having other alternative procedure to see the proof of the Boolean equation. We are basically developing the truth table for LHS expression as well as for RHS expression. While looking to the result of the LHS expression and RHS expression, if the results we are looking row wise same, then we are talking the re relation is true. If at all we are looking at least any one of this uh, at least one of the row, the LHS and res RHS result is not same, then we are talking the relation is not true. So, it is the other alternative procedure to see the proof of any Boolean equation. Let us try to see the proof of this distributivity with this second procedure. This property we are looking it is on three Boolean variables. While listing all possible values on these three Boolean variables, these are the possible combinations on these three Boolean variables. If we look to the result of LHS expression, we are having the LHS expression as A R with base C. If at all A is 1, B and C may be of anything, the result must be 1. Of course, this we are talking while looking to this third property. Based on this, we can see for the last four rows A is 1, so that the LHS result is 1. Similarly, if B and C is 1, A may be of anything, the result must be 1. To read B and C is to be 1, B as well as C both must be 1. So, we are looking here, for this row B and C is 1, so the result is 1. Even for this row, B and C is 1, hence the result must be 1. Of course, this 1 we already mentioned because of this A. No need to write again because of B and C. No need to write because of B and C that we are talking while looking to the first property. While looking at the first property, it is possible to speak 1 or with 1 any number of times. It must be 1. So, that no need to write again because of B and C. And of course, for other remaining 3 rows, the result must be 0. Similarly, if you look to the result of RHS expression, the RHS expression we are looking as A or B and with A or C. To read this result is to be 1, this A or B must be 1, this A or C also must be 1. So, equivalently it is possible to speak among these two terms, if at, all, if at all we are looking any one of the term is 0, then the result must be 0. So, based on this, if at all we are looking here, here A or B is 0, so that it is 0, the same, re, uh, same rule holds even here also it is 0. Here A or B is 1, but A or C is 0, so that is 0. Here A or B is 1, A or C also 1, so that the result must be 1 and so on we can read the result as like this. So, we are looking here row wise result of LHS and RHS expression is same. Once the row wise the result of LHS and RHS expression is same, then we are talking the relation is true. If you write the dual for this A and with B or C is equal to A B or with A C. But all we are giving the proof to the a, if at all B is the dual of A, then no need to see separate for, for B. What the proof we are having for A, default is valid for B. The condition is B must be the dual of A. As long as the B is the dual of A, default the proof of A is valid even for B. And we can list few more properties. 
we can list few more properties a r with a complement b as a r with b we can prove this easily by using this distributivity and few other earlier properties we can look here a r with a complement and with a r b a r with a complement using fourth property we know one so one and with a r b so one and with anything is anything anything is a r b similarly a and with a complement r b is equal to a b a complement r with a b is equal to a complement r b again the proof of this also we can look by using this distributivity and few other earlier properties the deal is a complement and with a r b is equal to a complement b a r with a b is equal to a so to prove this we are not using distributivity basically we are looking a as a common so that one r b within the parenthesis one r with anything using this third property we know it is one so one and with anything using this second property we know it is a the deal for this a and with a r b is equal to a a b r with a complement c r with b c is equal to a b r with a complement c the name of this property is consensus property it is also one of the important property the importance of this property we can look by looking to this equation itself the purpose of all this mathematical work is basically to reduce the cost of the logic circuit suppose we want to realize this lhs expression then because of three terms we are in need of three and gates and of course we need a or gate we are taking or operation among these three terms whereas for rhs what all we are looking we need only two and gates and one or gate so straight forward we are looking with the rhs expression the number of logic gates are less comparing with the lhs expression not only this the r gate what we are using to realize rhs expression will cost less comparing to the r gate what we need for realizing lhs expression the reason we can understand as this r gate is having the fan in as only 2 whereas this r gate is having a fan in as 3 hence whenever we are estimating the cost of the logic circuit a part of looking to the number of logic gates other in equal important parameter what we need to look is the fan in of a r gate the fan in of r gate is less the cost of the logic gate will be less hence the fan in also one parameter to estimate the cost of the logic circuit so based on this what i said is coming to be true it is also one of the important property we are going to use this property very frequently when we are doing the simplification of the boolean functions or equations using properties it is possible based on this property if at all we are looking three terms with this relation possible to replace these three terms with only two terms and if you look to the deal of this property a or b and with a complement or c and with b or c is equal to a or b and with a complement or c the next property as x or y and with x complement or z it is equal to x z or with x bar y we can prove this relation using 
consensus property and few other earlier properties. If at all we are expanding LHS expression, if at all we are expanding LHS expression, we know x x complement or with x z or with y z or with x bar y. We know using fourth property x x complement is 0 and among these three terms we are having possibility to use this consensus property. So, we can see using this consensus property what relation we are looking among these three terms. If you name it is a reference term first term if at all we are taking we are taking as a reference term we need a second term in which one of the literal of the first must be complemented. This happens so in this second term we are having complement of one of the literal of the first term and if at all we are having a third term which is coming from the first two terms second literals we are having a third term which is coming from the first two terms second literals we are having possibility to eliminate this third term it is a thing what we are having with this consensus property. So, that any expression which is having three terms on such expression it is not possible for us to use the consensus property. To use the consensus property among these three terms we need to have such a relation. Say for example, if at all we are having a expression with these three terms on this expression it may be having three terms, but it is not possible for us to use the consensus property. To use the consensus property among these three terms, we need to have such a specific relation. But all we are looking here, if you name it is a reference term, it is possible to accept it is a second term. The reason is where the literal of the first term is complemented here. And we are having a third term, we are looking it is coming from the first two terms second literals. So, that we are having possibility to eliminate this third term. Hence, we are looking to the relation uh, the result as x z r with x complement y. The dual for this is x y r with x complement z is equal to x or z and with x complement r y. The next property we can list as a or b or c and so on whole complement is equal to a complement b complement c complement and so on the dual we can read a b c and so on whole complement is equal to a complement or b complement or c complement and so on. The name of this property is de Morgan's property. So, in this de Morgan's property also we are looking interchanging of or and and operation which is similar to the dual property. And also we are looking if at all B is having the complement while writing the DeMarcan's property the result we are looking B without complement. So, that we are looking literal is complemented. Based on this, it is possible to speak we are having interchanging of 0 and 1. So, that these are the three changes what we are looking in the de Morgan's property, whereas the duals, a dual property we are looking only these two changes. So, it is a difference what we are looking between the dual and the de Morgan's property. Here, I use the word literal. The meaning of the word variable and literal. Truly speaking, the word variable is referring to only uncomplementary form of the variable. Variables are available only in uncomplementary form. The complementary form of the variable we are reading while using a not operation. Whereas, the word literal is referring either may be uncomplementary or complementary form of the variable. So, by using this terminology, if at all we are looking at the difference between the dual operation and the de Morgan's property, dual operation and the de Morgan's property. 
in the dual operation the laterals are not going to affect whereas in the de Morgan's property every lateral is going to be complement it is a difference what we are going to look between the dual and the de Morgan's property based on this let us look a small example suppose we want to read the dual result and de Morgan's result of this boolean expression the dual result of this boolean expression we are going to look as E and with F complement. As we said, laterals are not affecting the real operation. So that E without complement, F is the complement. So E and F complement are not affected, but as we know, R and must be interchanged. This R becomes and operation. Later, this and becomes R operation. This R becomes and operation. This and becomes R operation. Finally, this R becomes and operation. So, it is the dual result of this Boolean expression. And we are looking here, whenever we are having a given Boolean expression, many parentheses, many brackets like this, we need to apply the dual operation from innermost parentheses. So, while looking to the real operation from innermost parenthesis, it is the result what we are having is the real result of this given Boolean expression. As similar to this, if you look to the result of, as similar to this, if you look to the result of the de Morgan's property, it is coming to be E complement and F. We are looking E without complement so that in the de Morgan's property as we said every lateral is to be complemented so that E is coming with a complement, F is with a complement so F we are looking without complement R becomes and then this and becomes R D without complement and so on we can look like this. So, it is a de Morgan's result of the given Boolean expression. So, while looking to the dual and the de Morgan's result, it is possible to speak. If you know the dual result of the given Boolean expression, from this we can read the de Morgan's result simply taking complement of every literal. So, while taking the complement of every literal, it becomes the de Morgan's result of the given Boolean expression or vice versa. So, as we said, these are the few important relations what we are looking on these basic operators and or and not.